quick update of our road trip. We are heading to Sequoia National Park tomorrow. We left the coast yesterday and we drove to Bakersfield. It's really, really hot in here. It's like uh, over 100 Fahrenheit, uh, but we just love to be in nature. This is our background right now. So we can't really complain. We are happy when we are in nature and we are happy just to explore. Um, unfortunately, all the campground inside the National Park are full. So we are gonna stay outside for tonight and then drive in in the morning. We're probably gonna do in and out for a couple of days in Sequoia. And then we are going to do the same in Kings National Park. Uh, and uh, for the next week, we have booked two nights in Yosemite. So at least in that one, we can stay inside. Um, we are super, super excited to actually see some national park. Unfortunately, our time frame is pretty small. So I don't think we will be able to see much more, but uh, I guess three national park in two weeks is better than nothing. And uh, we will show you tomorrow uh, the national park. In the meantime, we are just letting Nala run around like crazy because today she spent the whole day in the car poor doggy it was like yes yeah, super hot for her to be outside and we had to do some chores um, to be ready for going to the national park so right now she's roaming like crazy are you an happy dog are you an happy dog this is the view we are at a lake about 10 miles before the entrance of the national park. Unfortunately, this is not a campground area. It's only a day use recreational area. Um, so we're just gonna find like, uh, a, we, we're gonna find temporary or we're gonna improvise and find a nice spot where we could sleep and be ready to go in, in tomorrow. But for now, we're just soaking nature and relax. Not a bad shower set up with a view. Nala just constantly eating cooked bones and running away from me. Look at this view. So this is our shower set up. So this is our hot water shower tank, which we're not going to use hot water tonight. There's no need. And this is the shower attachment that Stefano built and we just attached a hose from our shower attachment to this. Thankfully it had the right adapter. Okay this is attached. Now we attach this one. And this is the shower view. I mean behind the curtain. I have to use the curtain. I don't oh yeah there's Nala eating again. I can tell she's eating something. <laughs> This is the final shower setup. Nala's here because she's been naughty. I caught her. Stefano made this little hook for our towel, my toiletries, and shame. Get to enjoy the view. <laughs> Which view? This view? Next morning, we decide to wake up early, have a quick breakfast, and get on the road as soon as possible to avoid the massive crowds at the entrance of the National Park. And the good news, we only found five cars in front of us, so it was a quick process. We have just entered our first National Park, which is uh, Sequoia and Kings Canyon. There are two National Parks, but kind of in one. We got an America the Beautiful Pass for one year on limited national parks, which saves you a lot of money. And we're gonna go see the oldest tree and in the, the, the no, yeah, the biggest tree in the whole world. And then we're also gonna see the second biggest tree in the whole world. I don't know how the how old the big the biggest one is, but the second biggest one is sixteen hundred years old. Which is pretty cool. Amazing. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Actually. We're going to do some little hikes today. And it's then really hot. It's yeah. really hot. So we got to make sure at lunchtime where it's it's already like 30 degrees Celsius. 
Um, so we got to make sure that we're also being mindful of Nala in the car. So we'll probably take her for a lunchtime swim uh, in the freezing cold Glacier River. So, so excited. We're super excited. So we are going here. This is the biggest tree in the world. It's a very like quick kind of little, I wouldn't even call it a hike. Now I don't eat the map. And we're gonna probably spend two days here and then we'll go spend two days in King's Canyon. And then where are we going next? Just mine. Yeah. We have nowhere to sleep tonight because all the campgrounds are full. Yeah. But we did book uh, accommodation, or we booked a campground for Yosemite, which was very organized of us. Yosemite, Yosemite yeah. Okay. <laughs> Say Yosemite. Yosemite. Are you excited, Nala? Nala loves a road trip. She's so happy. Every time we stop, it's a new adventure for her. Sometimes she's disappointed, but sometimes she's but, excited. Like when we go to Home Depot? Yeah. Well, actually, I think she was so bored yesterday, she did like actually enjoy Home Depot as opposed to the laundry mat and the grocery store yeah. and all the other ones. first spot in the park we are gonna do the two most popular like hike spots first why did you pick three Stefano picked raspberries three is this food smoothie we're gonna do the most popular spots first really easy hikes I wouldn't even call them a hike I'm just making Stefano quick a little uh, smoothie he's taking Nala for a little walk to settle her and then we will show you the biggest tree in the whole world. It's so beautiful here. We're so excited. Do you want this is a little raspberry stuff now picked me? Is it poisonous? Hopefully no. We'll find out soon. Yum. Yeah. Tastes like a raspberry. Did you eat one? No. No? <laughs> Dead. We just saw the world's biggest tree. It's exciting. It's, it's how old it is? Two thousand two hundred years old, and it's fourteen stories high, or two hundred and seventy-five feet, or I think it's how many meters? 100, no, 100, 104, 104. I don't know. It's really tall. It's really beautiful. The cool um, part, there was a ranger that was talking and explained uh, some fact about it. The cool part is like after 750 years, the top of the tree stopped to grow. The trees decide 
that that said, then Nazi needs to go Because then I want to send like resources up there. Yeah, so the size that is not gonna get grow bigger, taller, but it's just gonna get wider. Mm -hmm. So that's what's happening to the tree. It's really really cool. Yeah, I think it's 11 meters across or 33 feet, like across wide at the bottom. So then we decided while we're here to spontaneously go on another little walk. So this is a walk that you can do from the General Sherman tree. It's called Congress Trail, Trail. Yeah. and it has a lot of the big sequoias, but like quite close together. I think they're kind of named after like presidents and like uh, army generals and stuff like that. So it's a 90 minute trail. So we just decided while we're here, we'll do this because yeah, we kind of, we're here for two days and we kind of want to do the most that, see the most that we can yeah. see without actually like working too hard. And tomorrow we are heading to the lake, a uh, waterfall. A water, we're doing a waterfall hike in the morning and that's a two or a three hour hike. So that's kind of a big hike for the day. And then I think we're going to take Nala to the lake where dogs are allowed. They are allowed here, but they're not allowed on the trails. And in the National Forest, they're allowed. So the poor baby, she's in the car. She's in the bench. car eating bones all day, laying in bed. So she's fine. So tomorrow we want to take her to the lake so we can all go for a swim and take her for a nice big walk because we're good parents. We try. <laughs> relaxing hiking in nature, we decide to move into another popular spot. Morro Rock is another iconic hike in the national park, where after climbing 300 steps on top of the mountain, it's possible to admire one of the most beautiful sunsets in the park. You're supervising Nala? Are you having fun supervising? Good girl. She loves to sit in the middle and just look out and just watch the road go by. <laughs> Her tall hands. The start of the walk. We had a little half glass of wine to warm up. And tipsy. <laughs> I thought if I get a little bit tipsy, I'm gonna get stressed about attitude. Oh, that's a good point. I'm out of breath.
I'll go first. What's it on the cord? on a weekend in summer don't recommend everything's full but that was a really beautiful sunset was it worth the risk baby yeah i thought i would, I would die <laughs> but then you just meditated yeah i meditated on the top that's all for today thank you for watching and let us know what you think about the video in the comment and we will see you in the next episode ciao